Okay. Hi. <laughs> Today I'll be reviewing The Stars at October Bend by Glenda Millard. I just want to mention that the copy I read was an uncorrected proof. For those of you who don't know, an uncorrected proof is a version of the book printed before the final edits are made. So the one I read may have slight differences to the book that's now available for purchase, but the essence of the book should be the same. So the story is set in Australia and it's narrated by two characters, Alice, a 15 year old girl who has acquired brain injury, and 16 year old Manny who is a former child soldier from Sierra Leone. For the geographically challenged world. Africa, Sierra Leone. It's a love story and it's one that's nestled within the context of flawed families, stigma and disability, victim blaming and grief in all its forms. The most startling thing about this book is that the parts narrated from Alice's point of view are written in prose poetry. So because of her brain injury, Alice really struggles to say words aloud, but she thinks and writes with this unmatched beauty and in observing the world she really adds value to it. Good representation of disability is something that I've found quite difficult to find in YA, so I really appreciated that the negative impacts of Alice's brain injury weren't just ignored or dismissed, but she wasn't just this broken damaged character either. Something that Manny realises in this book is that he has to kind of learn a different way of listening when it comes to Alice. She isn't disabled as such, she's differently able, but it takes patience and willingness to see that. This cover here isn't the one that was published in the end, but to be honest, neither cover does this book any justice. Obviously as a YA novel it's been marketed for teenagers, but I really think that The Stars of October Bend is kind of like The Little Prince or Tuck Everlasting in that it's so philosophical and touching that adults will fall in love with it too. So, dear Ellen and Unwin, as I am predicting a reprint in your very near future, my dream cover for this book would probably be a white cover with a serif title embossed in silver foil with silver foil stars kind of scattered around the cover. This is coming from someone with no experience whatsoever in book design, so you know it's quality advice. Cover aside, because we all know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, especially I really do recommend this book. It's breathtaking, it'll leave you seeing those birds that circle the heads of stunned cartoon characters. An entire aviary of circling birds.